Hey DJs, what's going on? This is Peter Noble. I've got a little something for you this afternoon. I've gone through the record vaults and I've picked out five essential techno slash house records that belong in your collection. Now, in the time that these records were played, which is largely in that period I call a kind of golden age of house techno music, which is late 89, well, late 88, 89, 90, 91, sort of 92, 93 kind of tapers off. During that window, especially 90, 91, a lot of really kick-ass house and techno records came out. And these days, although you don't want to drop a set of mostly house and techno necessarily, but if you do play sort of other genres of music, you've got to have a few of these aces in the hole. Let's go over those. The first record that you absolutely have to have is a copy of Two Bad Mice's Bomb Scare. This track came out in 1991, hard to believe, isn't it? On uh, Moving Shadow Records. Bomb Scare, even the B-side to Bomb Scare is kick-ass. But um, this is like kind of a, what would become breakbeat music, although it was grouped together with techno music when this record first was dropped. It's a total classic. It's easy to find. You can get it off eBay, you can get it off Gem. You could probably get it at a thrift store. Well, maybe not. Or at a record shop. A lot of DJs would drop into this track with, with this scratch part right here. Instead of, instead of mixing into it, they kind of come in like this and think, you think the DJ is actually scratching. Classic, classic breakbeat track. People know this part of it. That's a great record. You gotta have that one. The other record that you absolutely have to have in your collection, this kind of changes sort of tempos a little bit, is Jam and Spoon. This is a great song. Stella. This song was an absolutely crushing big hit on the dance floors. And this was like, now will be considered a trance record. But at the time it came out, trance really wasn't known too much as, as a genre of music. It was essentially considered techno. Um, it was on the R&S Records label, which is a great label for like late 80s, early 90s stuff. This is a complete Stella. You want to get the complete Stella because it's got all the killer remixes on it. You're going to know this track, and if you don't know this track, you probably didn't go out a lot in 1990. I like the original mix on the black side the remix is kind of whatever you could basically play this track any hour of the night preferably really late because it's very trippy and it sounds like it was cut last week this is a classic song from about 92 got kind of an acid feel to it. It's like a transitional house techno acid record and uh, it's really thick vinyl. This is kind of hot shit. Um, here's a track that I pulled out of the vault, Kid Unknown's Nightmare, which I got at Aaron's Records in LA for four bucks. It's got a sample of Ice Cube on here. No, not Ice Cube, Ice T which is I Am A Nightmare Walking is a sample, put out on Warp. Anything from Warp from like 90, 91, 92 is pretty good. This was a big track. B-Side sucks. Let's see if you remember Kid Unknown's Nightmare. To play at 45. It's great beat. I'd slow it down a little bit. You just want to drop this wacky record in the middle of your set because people are going to remember it, but it, it sucks with a lot of records like this by itself. It's kind of cool. It sounds better slowed down. Kid Unknown, Nightmare Walking. Got to have this record. This is one of my absolute favorite records from the period. It's Brother Love Dubs 
the Mighty Mang. This was a huge monster hit, considered a house music song. And it's one of the first songs where you realize it's really awesome, not when it's in your stereo, but on a huge dance floor. And there's a lot of remixes of it. It's pretty, it's pretty easy to find. It was on a lot of those silly warehouse rave CD compilations that came out. But I encourage you to go out and get the vinyl. Because if you have the opportunity, you should have everything on vinyl. Your girlfriend's wardrobe, your music collection. Vinyl's the way to go. And the Mighty Ming put out on Stress Records. The original pressing, should you find it, of the Mighty Ming by the Brothers Love Dubs. Good record to have. And it's got a really killer bass line, and the chorus is really cool. You want the original mix? There it is. People, you know, would trip. You should actually throw this into your set really late. If people are feeling sort of like zombies on the dance floor, marching, you know, full throttle, not a lot of interaction, kind of dancing by themselves. I'm big on this song. It's kind of a DJ song now, you know, DJs might like it. The crowd, I don't know if it's their flavor. And then lastly, but not least, this is a song that's actually a hip-hop record, Twin Heights record, but a lot of techno DJs like Garth and Spun played this record a lot, at least in the Bay Area. The B-side is absolutely killer. This came out uh, in 1989 on Profile Records, Twin Hype, for those who like the groove. And this fits into any sort of hard-hitting set. It's a great record. The bonus beats are good. The instrumental track is killer. I love this record. Not a lot of people know it. I'm sure a lot of DJs have it somewhere. But start to finish, it's really good. It's got, you can fit it into a set that's got a lot of breaks in it. But it really picks up. And there's a lot of changes in here. You know the song. that not only was it ahead of its time when it was put out, but even now it sounds really good because the samples are sort of minimalistic, the bass hits, and there's just cool down-tempo shifts in this track. You can drop this into just about any house music set in the middle. Kids love it. Kids love it. Got a little Mighty Mouse sample. This part's good. Anyway, Twin Hype. For those who like to be those are five essential house music slash techno records that you gotta have. You gotta pay your respect and give your love to the older songs.